how did they teach you where humans were in the tree of life when you were in school? Like we were the smartest or the biggest brained. Well, how did they describe it to you? Yeah, we're the top of the food chain. And it, okay, and what did they say about our brains? Just tell me in your. Well, it's the size of our brains that makes us so superior. Okay, but, then but you look at a magpie. Yeah, but dolphins' brains are bigger. So yeah, forty percent larger. Okay, so then, vortex. so then, therefore, what is, you know, whale brains are bigger. So yeah. So so then, how do they? If if there are other animals with bigger brains and we want to stay at the top, what do they say about those other animals? I don't know. What do they say? No, I'm saying. Okay, so you know what they did? They say they're inferior. So no, no. What so they what say? they did was say they say, oh no, we don't have the biggest brain. Oh, but brain to body weight ratio, mm. then we're the highest. Okay. Is that accurate with dolphins? Yes. So our because they're they're bigger, much bigger creatures than we are. Mm -hmm. Um, and the when you divide the weight of the brain by the weight of the body, we win. Right. We beat out um, whales. We beat out dolphins. We beat out elephants. Then there are those who are fans of those say, well, you want to do it lean weight because those the dolphins and the whales have a lot of blubber and that's not the brain mm -hmm. is not having to control the blubber. So cut away the blubber that boosts them, but they're still not as high as us. So we walk away saying we're at the top. However, what they did not say, which I had to 40 years later, I learned this that we do not have the highest brain to body weight ratio among animals, only among mammals. The magpie has a higher brain to body weight ratio than humans do, oh. as do all other mid-sized birds, like crows, owls, eagles, these, these folks, okay? Mm -hmm. All have a higher brain to body weight ratio than humans do. So that rule that put us at the top was specifically for mammals. Mm. And I'm angry that I didn't think to hear how specific that was when I was taught that in eighth grade. Well, okay. don't, isn't our understanding of like crows using tools very recent, like within the last hundred years? All I can tell you is any animal that we have ever got to study in more detail than we previously did has shown to be more intelligent than we ever gave it credit sure. for being. Yeah. And you know who has the biggest brain to body weight ratio of any creature on earth? Who? Some species of ants. Really? 15% of their body weight is their brain. And it's kind of obvious. Some of them, like the whole front section is their head. Right. It's kind of, in retrospect, it's kind of obvious. And ants are very busy doing some complicated things, and we don't know what they're doing. Especially leafcutter ants. They, they're busy. Carpenter ants, leafcutting ants, and cross over into termite land. Um, I don't know how big their brains are, but they're busy doing building stuff. And they work in communication and, with each and other And they somehow. communicate. Yeah. One of my favorite cartoons was two dolphins swimming together. And there's a human up, you know, it's like a, one of these water parks, right? And one dolphin says to the other, um, they f speaking of the humans that are up on dry land, uh, they face each other and make noises, but it's not clear they're actually communicating <laughs> with each other. <laughs> so uh, I'm just saying, uh, we have a picture of an ant. Close up of an ant. Yeah, that's just, that recently released this yeah. image, I think. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So. With, what a horrific and, demon that would be. Insects large. with so much detail on their yeah. bodies. And to say, well, we're at the top. Really? I got one for you. How, how much of the top are you? Do you realize one slice of your lower intestine, your, your colon, um, one, uh, one centimeter slice lives and works more microbes than all than the total number of humans who ever lived. Mm. So what? ask yourself, what are you to those microbes? Are you Joe Rogan? No, you are an anaerobic vessel of fecal matter. 